Let us flatten the inaccessibility curve in education. A campaign for inclusive education and it is easy to build stronger children than repair broken men. Presenting Matthew Abraham, a plus two student from Vayanar. Hello everyone, I am Matthew Abraham. Today I am going to share my story in overcoming blindness as a challenge. Why blindness is a challenge? Blindness mainly gave me two barriers. One, a social barrier. Everyone around me was seeing me as a victim or some sort of a big hazard. And then I wanted to create an image of a victim. And the second one, that was to overcome blindness physically and mentally. My parents wanted their child to be independent and then sent me to a special school for the blind. When I reached there, the teachers in the community around there gave me many, many, many promises to walk, to read, to write, to explore, to come to the mainstream society. But all these are yet to be fulfilled. Why? I must call it a blind school. Because everyone there was blind. Why? They couldn't see my vision, they couldn't see my ambition, they couldn't recognize my passion and they couldn't give me anything. And when I'm seeing through technology, as if you can see, I can read, I can write, I can explore and I can do my things myself. I am proud to present myself as an independent person who is working hard, who is striving hard to make a wonderful career. In my 8th grade, when I was competing with the CBC students, I recognized the fact that a primitive system like brain is not just enough to write down. And my duty in my class was to go to the teacher and ask, Madam, could you repeat it again? And to run to my friends and ask for their help. And please help me to do that and this and all. Now, I have a sense of self-esteem. I am proud to present myself as an independent person. And my parents, they wanted to send their child to CBC just because they knew that without English language, without proper mathematics, without proper science, I would not be able to do anything in my life. And then after that, uh, I scored 91% in my 10th grade and was a good student. I was the best outgoing student of my institute and I recognize the fact that being blind can't restrict your life in any manner. Then the second topic, the role of inclusive education. Actually, when I turned blind of a sudden, everyone around me was seeing me as a victim. When my parents decided to send me to the normal sighted school, and to send me to the sighted society, built by the sighted, for the sighted, everyone around me could recognize and inclusively accommodate me in my differences. That in my classroom, I was using my laptop and my smartphone for writing and reading, and they were using their notes and pens. Now the third point arises, that is to cut off differences. And that's what Takshumadi is doing. So, the major change that COVID-19 has brought to the world is that to have online education, to have accessible education. And that had literally cut off differences between me and the world. What I'm doing is similar to that, what the world is doing. Today, the scene had changed a lot. With the advent of technology, I am using laptops and mobile phones in my classroom for learning and I am browsing thousands and thousands of academic material including world classics for gaining a great knowledge base. My ambition to become a civil servant of India, especially in the administrative service, is Creating fire with the assistance of Bookshare.org, where I can access 800,000 books at a glance and I can have my own exploration in the knowledge economy.
Today, my life is made ergonomic with the advent of devices like Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Now, the freedom and the joy of liberty that I'm celebrating was not present in my life earlier. Chakshumati had enabled me to come to the mainstream society, making adversity as an advance is a great lesson which they taught me and with the help of a great expert team I can build my career on a strong basis. Now the difference is cut off from my life. Previously I used to think myself as a disabled person and I was a socially introverted character. Now I am proud to present myself as an independent person and I am sufficient enough in my life that I am using technology in its maximum so that I am having advances than my sighted friends. As what I am doing and the world is doing are all equal, so I don't have to depend upon any such primitive systems in order to fulfill my requirements and I can be independent and self-sufficient in my life. Now, the COVID-19 had brought a situation that the world must go accessible and online for education and all other purposes of life where I am meeting up my potential and requirements. Thank you, friends. If Matthew Abraham was forced to continue his studies in a blind school as he was sent in the seventh standard, it could have created difference in his skills than what the mainline community is doing. He might be viewed as a difficult piece of student in an inclusive school, where teachers can't understand what he was following in the class with Braille or need to seek the help of a resource teacher to understand what Matthew is doing. In that one year in the blind school, Matthew was not taught mobility, which is first life skills he must acquire from a special school or even Braille in a proper manner. Luckily his parents were following the plight of their son and moved him to one of the best schools near their home and taught him assistive technology. Assistive technology bought Matthew the kind of life he desired and staying in an inclusive society gave him the choices to become a victor, not a victim. Chakshumathi is a charitable trust and will not take any donations or funding for any of our operations or campaigns. We are supported by 1000s of catalysts who are volunteering in our projects as resource persons and cause supporters. To be free from expenses, we do not run an office and function purely from cloud-based technologies and operations. Write to us, mail.chaxhumathy at gmail.com.